Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. What's up, homies? It's me, Jay Lorraine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe while you're here and hit that like button so that I know you like this kind of content and I'll continue to upload. Today, we're gonna talk about how to prepare if you're going to any outdoor Christmas lights event. Here are a few things that you're gonna to wanna to remember if you're going outside to see the lights. Now this is if you've already seen them before, if your first time seeing them will be happening really soon, you're still gonna wanna pay attention to some of these tips because it's very easy to forget since it only happens once a year. First thing is first, your pants. Ladies, uh, the tight jeans, those thin tight jeans are a no-no for outside for an hour you will probably get frostbite with those. Sidebar, I have been outside in tight jeans for more than an hour and I almost did get frostbite. So avoid super tight, thin jeans. It's almost like wearing your skin outside. I got these jeans at Old Navy. They're called built-in warm. And the reason why is because it has a flannel material on the inside of the jeans to keep it warm something about your pants. Don't wear those tight pants outside because you will regret it. Also be sure to wear a long coat, especially if you're going to have thin jeans on. Make sure that you wear a long coat that will buffer some of the wind that will be happening against your legs. Try to layer a little bit as far as your tops go. So I selected a long sleeve shirt to wear. It's better to layer a little bit more and have to take something off than to put everything on and you're still cold because that will make the experience unbearable for you. You want to keep your hands warm, okay? Hands are one of the places that heat escapes your body. Keep that heat by making sure you don't forget your gloves. Don't forget them. And make sure you get some thick gloves. You know, you don't want nothing wrong with dollar store gloves. I use those too but you want a thicker glove because like I said, you wanna withstand that hour time frame that you're gonna be outside. So make sure you have some thick gloves. On the topic of hands and keeping them warm, there is a really cheap trick that you can do in order to make sure that your hands stay warm. Hot hands. So hot hands are hand warmers. Um, once you take them out the pack, they heat up. And you should keep a few of these in your pockets just in case your fingers get so cold that you're ready to leave. You can find at, you know, any grocery store. You can go to Walmart and get them. Speaking of wind, if the wind is blowing strong, your little cheeks are going to be so cold. So I'm going to wear something like this, a very thick scarf, and see how it's really thick first of all but the way that it folds i can easily just you know what i'm saying we'll tuck it in you know protect those cheeks protect those ears i could just walk around with my little beard scarf you know what i'm saying lastly super important last year i wore sneakers i would not recommend sneakers reason being is because my feet got really cold because once the sole of the shoe started getting really cold. I mean, the top part of a sneaker is not very much protection or warmth. So I'm gonna be wearing these when I go out, my polo boots. And the reason why is because of the thick rubber sole. So I'm not gonna feel the coldness of the ground at all wearing these boots. So I recommend anything that has a nice thick sole, 
so that your toes don't get cold because let me tell you that's the worst that's when i will leave if my toes are cold i've learned from experience i definitely don't want that to be the case for you guys if you have any other suggestions please make sure you drop them in the comments now that we have everything that we need in order to get ready for the zoo lights i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll meet you at the car so i'm headed to the zoo lights now the weather's actually not that bad out here today um, so I probably could have done a thinner jacket. However, the scarf is definitely going to be necessary. Major key, major key. Um, so I will get back with you guys when I get to the zoo lights. See you there, homies. It's called vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> it's very packed out here today. Ready to see these cool lights with the kiddos. You always gotta borrow a kid for zoo lights. You don't wanna be out here looking lonely unless you're looking for a man on the holidays. I love it so much. Oh, this is where the adult beverages are over here. <laughs> I remember, you gotta memorize these kind of places. You don't wanna lose them. We're in Asia right now. We'll see what we see. Look at it. It looks like fire fa falling from the sky. Yeah, I guess because this is supposed to be like dragon themed. Animals. I smell animals. <laughs> Everybody cares about the heat. That's what people care about. We in for the heat. You think you're my favorite? I know. Oh, you know. I'm your favorite friend. Jasmine's favorite sister. Well, she's my only sister, so I think she wins by default. But she is my favorite. She is my favorite. Australia. I guess they have flamingos here. Let's see what else we're gonna see. There's an aquarium over here. We're about to see the manatees, which is the best part. So we're on a little deck, kind of like a bridge. She's 
lost 90% of her uh, tail paddle in the boat flight, which means no. Oh. So she cannot be released into the wild. Uh, the other two are still being rehabbed. I'm up against the Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm finding this to ride in the water, so best way. Hey. <laughs> I love the way these beams are painted. We are in the Australia section right now. But that's pretty cool. Clap your hands, y'all. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> Look at Naomi. <Niall. laughs> Priceless. Priceless moment. Back up into it on stone clouds. And every little thing will be alright, baby. Been talking to you for the longest time. Everyone's having a good time in this tunnel. <laughs> The tunnel. I don't know why. I don't know why it's in the tunnel. It's lit. It's the blue light. It's the lounge. Hey, hey, hey. Watch it be quiet as soon as we leave. Watch, yeah. I don't know what it is. People like to talk in tunnels or something. It's already getting more quiet. Look at that. We just left litmus. So leaving and coming is looking like 405 traffic in Los Angeles. It's wild. And we didn't get to see a lot of the animals, but we still had a good time. I think that I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I have to prepare for my finals this week. So. I will just leave you guys here. Everyone say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you in the next one.